The LeadTools DICOM storage server framework is a collection of high-level .NET components engineered for quickly building robust, full-featured, and secure DICOM storage server applications. The framework includes a fully functional OEM-ready application, extensible add-in components, and the full source code for easy branding and customization. In this video, we will show how to configure and set up the DICOM storage server, explore some of the administration options and tools, add and configure the external cloud storage add-in, use the database manager to add a DICOM directory, and query and retrieve images from the server using the medical workstation. Configuring and setting up the LeadTools DICOM storage server is a simple process. Lead provides several configuration demos which will configure your databases and make sure each PAX demo can communicate with each other. The database configuration demo will create or connect the necessary databases and set up the administrator account. The username and password entered here will be used when logging into the LeadTools DICOM storage server and other demos. After configuring the databases, you can use the PAX configuration demo to initialize the AE titles and ports for each of the various PAX client and server applications. Now you can load the DICOM Storage Server Manager application and begin using and customizing your server. The LeadTools DICOM storage server includes a robust set of configuration options and features typically found in enterprise-level packs. In the DICOM server section, you can configure the AE title, IP address, port, implementation class UID, and how clients are able to connect to your server. With the storage settings, you have full control over how and where DICOM files are stored including file extensions and where to backup files when overwriting and deleting. The directory structure can be generated automatically based on any combination of patient, study, and series. Additionally, thumbnails can be automatically generated and several updated options are available to keep your storage server clean and organized. You can even select the exact IOD classes and transfer syntaxes you wish to support. This is useful in large practices and hospitals with multiple storage servers designated for specific modalities or departments. Flexible administration options are also available, including password complexity requirements, user management, permissions, and roles. Logging is a necessary aspect of any HIPAA-compliant PACS and the LeadTools DICOM storage server provides everything PACS administrators need. Many options and features are available including search, import, export, audit, and more. The LeadTools DICOM storage server implements an add-in structure to simplify extensibility and customization. It comes preloaded with several add-ins including autocopy, logging, forwarding, gateway, and more. The source code for each add-in is also provided to expedite your development and customization. Adding and configuring your storage server's add-in is very simple. Just stop the server and copy the necessary DLLs into the add-ins directory for your storage server. Here we are copying the external storage add-in DLLs from the pre-built add-ins directory that ships with the toolkit. Then, we paste them into the add-ins folder for our DICOM storage server. Since each storage server can have its own collection of add-ins, you can create and customize your add-ins for each server, which is a very useful feature for multi-server practices or for fine-tuning your server for each client. 
Once the server is restarted, the new add-ins are automatically detected. Now, our DICOM storage server can utilize the third-party cloud storage features for providers such as EMC Atmos and Microsoft Azure. External storage add-ins are highly customizable with robust scheduling, backup, and restoration options. At the core of the LeadTools.com storage server is a fully featured PAX database. New DICOM files can be added individually or in bulk with a DICOM directory. The database can be searched and displayed at the patient level, study level, series level, or image level. Additionally, each DICOM dataset and its tags can be viewed and includes an image preview window with window leveling and zooming enabled. Any DICOM compliant application with support for PAX communication can access your DICOM storage server and issue commands such as cfind, cmove, cstore, etc. Here we are using the Lead Tools Medical Workstation demo to query our DICOM storage server and store the files to its local database. The LeadTools DICOM storage server is fully compliant with DICOM communication protocols, so you can use any PAX client and view an application. This means that the LeadTools DICOM storage server can be easily integrated into any existing practice or hospital. The LeadTools Medical Workstation can display the DICOM images with rich medical viewing features including window level, image stack, multi-frame layouts, annotations, cine, 3D volume reconstruction, and much more. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed our presentation of the LeadTools DICOM storage server and how easy it is to create and configure an enterprise-level OEM-ready storage server with extensible add-ins, third-party cloud storage, and robust database management capabilities. For more information and to download a free functional 30-day evaluation, visit www.leadtools.com.